Hello and welcome to another Dwarf Fortress uh, attempt, adventure, embark. We are going to be setting out in a little bit more hostile territory this time. So our last fort, as we can see, is still up. Uh, is up right here. This was Tower Bars, where we were. Uh, we had we had a we had a good long peaceful run until we dug too deep and then we experienced some things. Uh, so this time, if you remember on my my world building um, video, I'll link it now. Uh, the, we have a lot of dwarves right here. This is basically, this is our people. We're, basically, we're actually in all these mountains here. I think we have a few up here as well. Uh, there's lots of humans in this way. The elves are down here. Um, all of this in the middle is a bunch of goblins. The Oaken Poisons, I think is their name. And we are going to build our fort right here on this little hill right there. Uh, you can kind of look up in this local area. This is, of course, a picture I just took. Because I've, I've advanced my a little bit for my pity, uh, setting out my gear. But uh, as you can see, there's kind of a river going through here. Uh, I'm going to pick a smaller map. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, but we've got a river, like a brook going through. And we're kind of on the edge of a mountain and a woodland biome. The mountain biome, as a matter of fact, the southern one here, is a haunted surrounding. So this might be interesting. Um, and then to the north, we have a, a, a heavy forest, forested wooded biome. So uh, this one, we've got an aquifer we'll have to deal with. But the, the top one doesn't have an aquifer. So it won't be too, too terrible. But uh, yeah, so it's it's kind of on a, like a cliff, I think, is how it how it was looking. Um, but yeah, so we're basically in the middle of goblin territory. So this should be very interesting. Uh, something else I have done. So you can do some modifications in the files, and I have gone through and adjusted. So things like goblins don't siege unless you have a minimum of eighty dwarves, which I just learned not so long ago. Uh, so I have I have edited that and and changed that to where I believe. The minimum number is 20. Once you hit 20 dwarves, they will attack you. I just, I haven't tried it yet. I just do as the internet tells me. Um, but we're going to try that. Actually, I've, I've edited all the sieges to be lower number of dwarves. Because what we're going to do this time, this is, uh, uh, is going to be, what we're, what we're changing about this one is we are going to have a popula population cap of 14 dwarves. We're going to start with our initial seven. We'll get seven more, probably seven more migrants in the first run. And then we'll be done with dwarves. And if we want to get more people into our fort, the only way we're going to be able to do that is by building a nice inn, uh, probably an inn, temple, library, to get more folks to come to our fort and join us. That's going to be how we get population this game. It'll be interesting. So we're going to be in like goblin infested lands, sieges happen more often. And we're also in a haunted biome. So we may not, <laughs> this may last like two episodes, but it'll be interesting. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there we go. We got 14. I've already got 14 names from those of you that have been with me for the last couple of forts. Uh, however, if you'd like to add on and be one of the humans, elves, or whatever that, that joins us, then just let me know and I will, I will add you to that, uh, that list. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the attempt. We're also going to try something different. We're going to use, uh, Phoebus, uh, graphics. We're going to try it out. I've been using Iron Hand the last few times, but we'll try something a little different. Anyways, we were set off now. We, we've got mostly turkeys, a couple dogs, a couple cats. Uh, that's really, that's all the animals we have. I don't want to do a lot of outside things. We want to make sure we, we hole up and, def and get well defended. That's going to be the trick, I think. And um, you can see what we're bringing here. We have tasty, tasty cat meat. Uh, we do have a steel anvil because iron anvils aren't available apparently in my sieve still. Uh, we have three, I'm bringing three copper crossbows just for a little bit of defense. They um, typically I, don't, I would just bring one for my hunter, but because of where we're going to be and what we could possibly be coming up against, I want to make sure we have some sort of defense early on before we get too too hairy. Uh, other than that, just lots of beer. But let's let's embark. That's it. There we go. You have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Shintasid. That's the uh, my 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 homeland people. Uh, there are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before the winter entombs you. But it is spring now, enough time to delve. Secure loggings ere the alligators get hungry. A new chapter... See, that's what I'm bringing crossbows. A near two chapter of dwarven history begins here. At this place, Onal Tutlush. Mountain fishes strike the earth. All right. Why is it not paused? Okay, so, uh, yeah, so I'm on a, a much smaller, it's only a 2x2 two two embark, and the reason for that is because we're going to do basically, like, this is going to be a little micro fort. So our attempt is to make this, um, 
small and see how long we can live, really. So you can see the, the pink here is the uh, the haunted biome. And uh, the green is the uh, not haunted biome. And we have a few trees in here. I'm, I'm not really familiar with this, this tile set, so it'll make me a little bit interesting trying to figure things out. But that's okay. What is this stuff over here? Dark grass. Dense cotton grass. You're a boulder. You're prickleberries. We like prickleberries. Uh, there's lots of big trees over here. Good, good. We have lots of trees. That's that's very good. Um, let's see here. So, where do we want to set in? We got... That's not quite as I was expecting it. I mean, we have the river there. And we've got... The hostile stuff is going to be on here. So, I would like to not be near the hostile stuff. Um, I don't know whether we, to, whether we should just go straight down. And then build, like, a, a thing around that. Maybe we should go, like, up here. There's some trees up here. But we could set out, we could clear out these trees and then dig down from here. Or we just set or set in this little, this little cranny here. Maybe we'll do that. Let's do that. That's good. That's good. I like that. So we'll set in over here. So, first thing we need to do is start digging. And I think we're going we're gonna to do the downstairs thing. Let's go ahead and make sure we get these trees chopped down. Chop those down. And then we want to dig a downstair. Like right where that tree stump is. Well, I guess we'll put it right here. And then we're going to do... We're going to go down just a bit. To like there. And then I think what I want to do is have like a wall around this. And then, and then doorways. But for now, we'll do something like, well, that's uh, <laughs> not straight. Okay, and then and then branch out from here. So we'll have sort of the staircase is sort of our central thing. So let's go out from there, and then we'll kind of just venture out in all directions. We'll make sure we have to be careful how we mark that out. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll get a wall built up here, which may not be the safest way. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I will also grab some plants. Grab all the plants that we can find early on here. It is uh, actually near the end of spring where this is setting us off. We're setting, we're on the third month, 23rd day. So we're going to be in summer pretty soon. It is raining as well. Is there any bad animals out? A drake, a duck, and a drake. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, so our dwarves. I haven't gone through our dwarves. So we have, we have Bob, Bob the Miner. We have Silencer, the miner as well. Silencer, Bob is basically just a miner. Silencer also will probably work as my broker, I think. Uh, Brutes is our carpenter, and he's going to be our medical dwarf. Poet is our mason. He's going to be doing all the stone work. We have Billy, our hunter. Bill Nye is the farmer, and Sir Nook, expedition leader. I, Bill Nye has the leadership skills. I'm not sure why he's not the expedition leader. And Nook is not the farmer. Unless I put those wrong. Could have been. No, oh, my, what is going on? Um, okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. Now, what are we into here? What is this? Birch roots. This is all white sand. Interesting. And what is down here? Silt loam. Okay, good. We can do our farming right in here. So, let's make, like, a farming zone right at the front here. Something like that. Is that, e is that even? Maybe one more. There. And we'll start getting our, our uh, planting going on. We're actually going to go ahead and dig this out just a little bit more. Uh, that's not straight either. How, how am I supposed to make this? Is this going to be straight in, at all? Yeah, that's not bad. It'll be okay. And then I would like to get a wall around this. So then if we do get attacked, first, what we're, the way we're going to do is we'll have a wall around here. Kind of walling us in. We, I may do a tower... I've not decided yet. What's what's going on? Oh, you're killing the ducks. Yeah, get those horrible, evil ducks. Um, so have a wall around this way, like a perimeter wall, outside perimeter. We, we can put like a upper layer, kind of like what we've been doing before. We have sort of a ramparts thing where we can shoot from out here. And then having maybe even another wall outside. And then a wall in here. We'll have another wall like this with doorways. So if something does manage to get past the first perimeter wall, they'll have to come down another wall here. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's see how it works. Let's get the farming going. 
take up the whole thing. I guess we'll do... It's going to be a smaller forest. We're going to have max 14. I'm assuming we'll get up to in the 20s at, top, at most. So this will be enough farming for the whole fort. Um... I'm going to do actually a little bit less. Let's just do two farm plots. And we're going to do those with plump helmets. The new season is summer. And summer is already here. And let's build our still. Um, we're going to plop it down over here. We can't farm on this stuff, so we might as well stick a f still. Is that dolomite? Is that what that is? It's got to be. Yep. Dolomite. Now summer. Alright, so if, if we're going to do farming up here, we should make a workshop area. So I would like to have sort of it branch off. So we'll have the farming and food service area. Maybe even have the, I don't know, maybe we'll have like the dining room over right here. And then the bedrooms back behind it. Workshops will be down here and then something else over this way. More workshops, I'm not sure. But let's plan on the workshops being down here. We can do them sort of like this might be kind of creative. So now, one of the things I'm thinking with, with so few dwarves this time, is I'm thinking it might be more interesting having, um, being able to, um, pay more attention to them. Um, what I mean by that is, is kind of eyeball, keep an eye on their needs, and, and managing them a little bit closer than I, than I have in the past. Um, I may actually build that out a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, so rather than just having, normally when you have like swarms, loads and loads of, of dwarves, it's hard to kind of keep an eye on, on what is really happening with them, if that makes sense. Um, no, I want that to be bigger. Let's put it like, just cover this whole, st oops. Like this whole stream here, let's cover that. I'm gonna make this a water source, fishing, and you can gather, grab fruit as long as you want. And we need to put in a. We do have a few animals. Uh, nothing that needs to go outside though. So no, we don't do that. We will do a refuse stockpile though. We can dump some trash out here. Uh, if I hit the right button. We want refuses. R. Like that doesn't need to be too big. So then we can dump our trash into here. And so workshops, stockpiles will be the other, the other big one. Our still is, oh, it is working. Okay, yeah, you can do that. I gotta mark this as plump helmets. Things are making me fast. Uh, plump helmets. We're gonna do plump helmets all year long. I did bring seeds for everything else. So we'll need to get, I didn't bring, I brought like one rope. So we'll need to get those pigtails running soon. So our, our still, our kitchen can be back here. We can actually have our food storage back this way. Let's do that. And I kind of want to make this bigger. It's going to be a bigger walkway here. This will be food storage. Um, about there, and then... That's plenty of room. Is that? That's not even. Um, how do I? How does I get this even? This uneven. There we go. So yeah. So this will be food stockpile. We'll do. I wonder. So the map goes. The map goes this way. Maybe we should make our stockpiles over just kind of covering this side. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll come. We'll figure it out eventually. Workshop, we need to get a carpenter going quickly. And it's gonna have to go over here. Almond logs, we maybe we'll make a wood stockpile back behind it. That's, maybe that's what we can do. So we've got our stockpiles over this way. We can make, get the right buttons. We can have a, um, I don't remember what the, um, which one can I not build? Like, it's, so I'll put the door up here. I'll put a door here and just have like a big wood stockpile back there. No one else needs to get wood other than the carpenter and the crafts dwarf. So maybe we'll do that. So we'll dig a door right there. 
and we can like make this whole thing wood stockpile. We're going to be having a lot more stone than anything else, which we should go ahead and get our, our mason going soon. And he can go over here. And again, we'll keep an eye on where that door need, where the uh, door needs to be, which would be right here. And we can do stone. Actually, you know what? This can be kind of its own. Oh, we can do stone and bars and blocks. Over here. We'll need like a leather works soon. Um, let's go ahead and get our butcher going. I'm going to go leave the butcher outside. Butcher is a U, am I right? Yes. We'll just plop him down, I guess right like here. We're going to get a, we're going to get our butcher and our um, our tanner needs to be I may just throw a tanner out next to him. What is tanner? Tanner is an in. Um, I would like to go ahead and start getting some sort of a um, leather works business running uh, for armor. So leather works, we will throw. Let me take another one out. Something like that. We'll throw leather in there. We can have a leather stockpile coming back here. Let's remove that one. And we won't have a lot of leather, so we'll just do something like that. I want to see where the leather works actually needs to. Leather works is E. Where does it need to be open? Can't see the middle one. Okay, so we can do something like that. Okay. All right. The butcher is working. Stairs are working okay. I'm tempted to just go ahead and throw a wall in real quick. I never know. You never know what could possibly hit you this early on, especially since I've turned off all the restrictions for uh, population numbers. I'm not. I know that goblin, the goblin, the new goblin population number will be 20. I'm not sure about anything else because I know others happen differently than that. Goblins happen at like normally you get a siege of goblins at 80 dwarves, um, but other things change. Uh, I, like, I know necromancy siege, like skeletons and things, happens less than that. Um, so I'm not actually sure. What is this? Dark, dense velvet grass. Oh. Interesting. Is this all just a bunch of... Oh, white, white sand. What can we do out of... Oh, we could have, like, a glass industry. Ah, interesting. And this is all sand right here? Yes, this is all sand. Very interesting. So the aquifer is down this way. We do need to move. I don't. I'm not happy. I'm not real comfortable being in the the uh, haunted biome where my cart is. So we need to make sure and get our stockpiles up and running soon. So we know this is going to be wood. So let's go ahead and do that. This and we have we have four idlers. There's no reason for idling. Wood can go there. We're going to have stone over on this side. We know we want a leather stockpile over here. And we need to build our leather works. Which is going to go... Oh, I can't do it right there. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll have to make another door there. We'll do one like that. And... This is all soil walls. I kind of wish I'd gone down a little bit further, but it's, a, it's okay, I guess. We're kind of dug into the dirt here. That's fine. And we can't, yeah, we can't always go down. Ooh, what is this? Silty clay. Okay. I'm not used to these colors. We got that. Now we want, we want our food stockpile to be back here. This is an important one to get moved in. Maybe we'll just do food on the one side for now. Um, you know what? What's it matter? There's nothing else I want to put back here. This is going to be all food. Food. Mugs, everything will be back this way. Oh, you know what I... Okay, I, I know what I'm going to put away. So we need to have our uh, inn, tavern, temple all up this way. So I think we'll have our doors here. We're going to have like a main road here branching off to those. So all visitors will sort of ferry in this way. 
Um, something like, actually, you know what? What if we do something like this? And then over that way. So then we'll have like a, like a main road going this way. Um, actually, I like the idea of it just being a double door back into this. And then we'll have like our, our temple, our inn. All that stuff will be up top here. So folks can visit and hopefully join our, join our cause. Not join it. Join it. Butcher, are you butchering? Yes, you butcher. You butcher all the time, buddy. And tanner, you do, yes, you do your tanning. And then, is my leather work's done? I think everyone's done, actually. Nope, not yet. The mason is done, though. Uh, for right now, just make me blocks uh, and make lots of them. Um, ooh, as a matter of fact, make me doors as well. Let's do a workflow of that. That's not, that's not what I want. I want... There we go. Uh, yes, workload, turn on. Uh, any material. And we don't need a lot of doors, doors laying around, but just like two to four, just, just to have them in the stockpile, which we don't have a finished good stockpile. Maybe that's what we'll put over this way. Go down here. I'm not sure. Hmm. Certainly need one. What was that yelling at me for? Needs butcherable, unrotten animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need plump helmet spawn. You should have lots of plump helmet spawn. You're not eating them, are you? Okay. 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 Alright, so we gotta figure out. I'm gonna put more workshops. We need to do craft stores workshop, so let's go ahead and build that one. Which is R. Yes. And it can go there. We can dig through to here. And then we're gonna need like our finished goods and stuff. Which I'm actually tempted to put over here and then actually just go down more for the bedrooms and things. Yeah. I think it'd be a better idea to have stockpiles kind of up this way. Up towards the, the nearer to the front of the fort. Or we could do like... Door there. Door there. And then have it... Something like that. Finished goods can be over there. We can actually go further and make more of them around here. And then we'll go down another layer. We can actually go ahead and dig it. Go ahead and start digging. Might as well. Because we do need to get into some stone. We are, we are we are lacking the stone. The only place we have stone is over here. Which I probably should have put... I need to put my bedrooms at least in the stone. Because then we can... We can... Um, uh, make them fancy. We can... Uh, what is it called? Engrave them. Engrave them. And I am I am going to go ahead and get some sort of a wall going. Because I don't... I'm scared. <laughs> um, you know, we can probably get it big enough. We'll just do wood for now, I guess. Box select. Uh, whoops. I already had box select. Wall, box select. Um, and we got hollow. Something like that is is good enough, I think. And there's 57 walnut wood logs around here. Let's just use those. Uh, and the birch for the other ones. And peach. Peach logs for that one. Uh, and we're going to... Where should our door be? I guess it should be on well, this side. No. Let's put it over here. Do that. Do I want my trade depot to be in here? I think I do. So we'll move that. What did that say, Nook? Uh, cancels plant seeds, need pump hummus spawn. Alright, we will get it pretty soon. So yeah, so we'll get our wall built up. We'll do another layer. I think what I might actually do is do this wall and then uh, put a roof on it. 
and then do another layer. I'm going to completely roof the whole thing. There's no reason for anything out here to need to be outside. So it'll be a little bit safer. We can put a whole a whole floor and then another wall with fortifications and then we'll have a, some sort of defense. That'll make me feel safer anyways. But before we end this episode, let's make sure we chop down more trees. I'm going to put a cut here. Thanks again for watching. Uh, if you would like to be a dwarf, I don't have room for tons of names. Um, but yeah, I will... I will put you on the list for, not. I guess I say a dwarf. Um, most likely you would be, either if one of the dwarves dies, you can be a dwarf, or a human, or an elf, or kobold, whoever else comes and joins, and joins the fort. You know what, actually, I'm changing my mind. Here's what we're going to do. I think I like the thought of this better. So here's what we're going to do, here's what, here's what I'm thinking. I will, I will think about this between episodes, but on this layer, we make the inn and stuff. We branch off from here. Inn, tavern, uh, we can actually have a couple, uh, not inn, library, couple temples. That might be... I think I like that idea better. Yeah. Alright, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.